welcome into the kitchen, hanging out with Jessica from Skip's Salsa today. We're excited about this. We love salsa, right? Yes. But of this is interesting because we're going to actually cook with it. Yes. So it's not just a dip. No. Or a topping or a no. dressing. You're actually going to like cook with it. And so I think that's really fun. Yes. We've got tons of recipes that we do. We, I mean, we add skips into everything. So I like that. Okay. So we're going to make a cheesecake, a cheesesteak, yes. not a cheesecake. That would be crazy. A cheese cheese steak. steak today. So Skip's cheesesteak. We've got about a pound and pound and a little extra of meat. Okay. It, it's the flank steak, okay. just sliced really thinly. And then I took two bell peppers and just sliced them really thin. Um, you can use whatever colors I you like want. I like to use those orange. Those smell, they taste and they smell so yes, good, Yes, they're a so. lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is about a tablespoon of garlic. Okay. So, and just minced. Easy. Yeah. This is gonna be a good recipe for after school, you know. After, it's so you know, quick dinner and so easy. Or like Labor Day's yeah. coming up and you don't want to dirty up your house, you can just throw it on for sure. the grill. So, and then this is two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. So, pretty heavy dose of that. Yeah. Kind of get that flavor going. Yes. And then one small onion and then by sliced thin. So, and then we're just gonna get that out of the way. Good. Okay. Do a little olive oil? A little olive oil as I throw the lid there. That's all right. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil. All right. And then you actually add a half of a jar of the salsa, right? I do. What's your favorite flavor? Well, I mean, I like the hot, to be really <laughs> the hot? honest, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. What do you use in this? We'll use hot. Hot? You can okay. use, so you can use whatever you want. Yes, whichever your favorite is. So my kiddos, I'll use mild, um, but if it's, sure. you know, I use the hot for... Something a little spicier. Yeah, for adults usually. This makes the seasoning so. of it and the marinade of it really easy, I guess, right? And I used a little more than... Yes, okay. it does, and I used a little more than... I like that. I like that. That's good. <laughs> if a little is great, a lot is even better. Right, and then I just salt and pepper to, to taste kind of whatever your preference is, usually about, let's say, a teaspoon yeah. or so of pepper, and then maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt. And you mix this all up, mm -hmm. and then do you let it sit? Um, you don't have to. You can really? let it marinate for a little while, or you can throw it right on the grill. And um, we're just going to roll it in some foil packets, so it's going to kind of keep all that flavor in. So this is sort of there. fast forward here. Yes. And so you've got this. This is like, what is this, like an indoor grill or what? It kind is. Of? Just this is cool. like a smokeless grill. Oh, that's awesome. So you so. just wrap it in the foil packet, stick it on here. How long are we cooking this? 10 to 15 minutes. Sorry. That's pretty. So. That's so easy. Yes. So quick. I mean, and it's it's done and then after you cook it for 10 to 15 minutes until it's you know it's cooked through then you just top it with the part the provolone cheese and while it's still in the packet yeah and, and then, then you just put it on the bun yep yeah. that is so easy yeah. really nice and it looks like it's really moist and flavorful because it of that is. salsa right it is so okay it's delicious well we're gonna go to break if that's okay yes. we're gonna come back we'll have it plated up for you but i want to talk more about skip salsa when we return awesome. sound like a plan Yay. all right stick around everybody we've got more from the kitchen when we come back There's a party on the rooftop, top of the world.